earth. The wind writes untranslatable hieroglyphs on the sea's surface as the tide recedes, leaving a ragged hemline stitched with shells along the rim of wet sand before returning again and again, and never quite the same, and always indifferent. Feathers, driftwood, wave-smoothed fragments of glass. What is there to believe in except this mineral world as I stand on an empty Irish beach stripped to the bone by freezing squalls. Before I left the city, I woke to a bird singing its heart out at midnight in the tree beside my window as if it was dawn. What sense can be made of things when all that's left of a young man stabbed beneath a ribbon of Christmas lights is a clutch of garage flowers? I had hoped for miracles from this El Greco light breaking through the purple clouds over the islands to the taste of sex on the tongue, the merging of I with you to form something radiant, but instead found only the monastic chill of daybreak where even angels refuse to sing. With the tides turn, scum gathers at the sea's edge. Kelp, a plastic shoe, bob on the current as the morning slips through my fingers like sand, like love. And the tireless waves push on into their own future as I reach for a pen, struggling to transcribe. Word by word, sentence by sentence, this fragile, yes. Mm -hmm.